Welcome back to Living Dayton. Now, three UD grads have come up with a fun and tasty way for you to create customizable sushi on the go right here in Dayton. Chopsticks optional. Take a look. Okay, so Zach, tell me a little bit about how Fusion got started. Um, Fusion was created by uh, one of my closest friends from high school and my brother. Um, we are, were poor college kids, couldn't afford to eat sushi. Um, we ate at places like Chipotle all the time growing up, and mostly because it's fast and it's efficient and it's uh, affordable. And there was uh, there was kind of a void in the market for um, in, for, in, for sushi. And um, we just kind of developed this concept in downtown Cincinnati. We opened in uh, May 25th, 2010, and uh, we just went with it. We uh, none of us had any restaurant experience. Um, it was kind of a crazy, a crazy thing. We uh, we made a lot of mistakes at the beginning, and we just started asking a lot of questions. And and here we are with our second restaurant about a year and a half later. Now, where are you all originally from? We're all originally from Oakwood, uh, right here in Dayton. And uh, you know that was one reason why we decided to come back here. Um, you know, we really could have started this in any city that we wanted, and. Uh, we chose to stay in Ohio just because we're Ohio boys and uh, we, we love it here and it's a great place to start. People are very loyal. Um, we have a lot of friends and family here so it's kind of a great place to get started and, 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 and start asking, you know, start learning and, and figuring out how to, uh, to provide a product that people want that, you know, that, you know, people smile while they're going through the line and, and uh, yeah. Okay, Zach, so what exactly should I expect once I get up to the ordering line at Fusion? Well, the first thing you should be greeted by is, is a smile. Um, and then uh, it's very simple. You choose the wrap, um, seaweed or soy over there. Okay. So those are your two options, traditional seaweed, soy is an alternative. So soy is kind of alternative. I'm newer to sushi, so maybe... Go with the soy. Soy? Yeah. Okay, let's do soy. And then we have this uh, machine here that lays about 1,200 sheets of rice an hour, so oh, that's wow. what speeds up our process. Yeah. Laying the rice is one of the things that takes the, is the most time-consuming parts of making sushi, so okay. we have this process here that you can just shoot out the sheet of rice and it keeps moving forward. All right. um, then you pick whatever protein you want. Oh, Very cool. Sometimes it's a little tricky, but <laughs> so, keep so working on it. We pick out whatever protein we want. Yes. What if I'm, I'm kind of an indecisive, choosy person? Can we like mix it up? Do I have to stick to one? No, meat? You, our rolls are ten pieces, so you can do half and half. You can do half chicken, half okay. steak, or half tuna, half shrimp. Mm. However you want to do it. I think I'm going to do half chicken, half steak. Perfect. That, cool? that sounds awesome. From here, you can choose from all these fresh veggies, so you okay. can pick with as many of them as you want. We have, you know, carrots, asparagus, and avocados, and cream cheese, mm. and cucumber. Okay, so onions. like with the chicken portion, what would you recommend? I always put cream cheese with my chicken okay, roll. Okay, cream I think cheese. It's, it's let's so good. do it. And you know, like you like cucumber. You know what? I I'm not big on veggies. All which right. is awful. I'm not the healthiest. Yeah, no, you're right. What about um asparagus? Yeah, asparagus. Yeah, asparagus is, is great. Weird? Okay, no. I'll do asparagus. Do you like asparagus? I love asparagus. Then put asparagus in there. You'll <laughs> We're love doing it. Asparagus. Perfect. Perfect. Hmm. Should I do some green onion? Is yeah. That, do you think that that do makes sense? Do you like sense? green onions? I mean, I mean, <laughs> he's like, go for it. Okay, one green onion. Like, let's do just a little bit. Perfect. And then from here, you choose whatever toppings you want. Um, okay. We uh, we make our own spicy mayo here in house. It's it's really? delicious. Um, I also recommend some sweet soy in there. Okay. Maybe put some sesame seeds. Yeah. Um, but I would definitely recommend some spicy mayo, some sweet soy, and. Okay, let's go for the spicy mayo and sweet soy. I'm taking your word, Zach. All right. So um, you said there are a few more toppings we yeah. can do. Sesame seeds. You like sesame seeds? I do. Let's, Throw some let's sesame go for seeds that. On there. And if you want wasabi or ginger, you can always put that on the side or okay. some tempura crunch and stuff um, like that. How about a little tempura crunch? Perfect. <laughs> and now you're done. I'm excited. So you just this get sushi really and it, you know, it takes like two to like a minute. And it was yeah. really fun to create. Right? You know the part of this experience I'm most looking forward to? Yes. Trying the sushi. Yeah, now. right? <laughs> so can we sample this? Can we Let's test this out? Okay, so here is the moment of truth. It is time to taste the sushi that I made myself here at Fusion. So are you ready, Zach? Yes, let's okay, do let's it. Let's see what happens. Oh my. It's good, right? It was a lot of fun to create. It was even more fun to eat. 
It was good. It was really good. You have to try it, and you'll be talking just like that, Natalie. I promise you. Now, I was dying when I heard you go. Mm -hmm. That's all I can say. I was speechless. Now, Fusion is located right on Brown Street near UD's campus, so there are students in and out of there all the time. Yeah. But they actually have a location in Cincinnati also. So these are two or three three kids from UD who are doing really are doing big so things. So well. So, so and that looks so. What a great oh concept. That looks delicious. Yes. I'm gonna have to try yes. it this week. I, I fully support people going to Fusion and trying out their sushi. It was so good. And even if you're a beginner, you know, like we mentioned, like you were, yeah, they have steak, they have chicken, fully cooked things that you can choose from. So well, try it out.